Hi friends, welcome to my another video. Today in this video, I will discuss about the ADDC standard related to electrical panel. This video will be very important for those engineer who is working in the Gulf country, especially in Abu Dhabi or Dubai, and for those who are the aspirant of ADDC exam. So let's start this video. As per the ADDC regulation, the distribution board is defined as an assembly designed for housing isolation switches and the protective devices and for connecting multiple circuits including their associated neutral and earth conductor. What does it mean? Its simple meaning is the distribution board is nothing but an assembly for housing all the protective and isolating devices including their outgoing and incoming circuits with the neutral and earth conductor. This is an image of one type of distribution board. You can see that the distribution board is an assembly for housing the switching devices this is the switching devices and the protective devices these are the protective devices okay the neutral and earth conductor this is the neutral bar and this is the earth bar so this distribution board is housing the neutral conductors and the earth conductors along with the outgoing and incoming circuits this is the outgoing circuits and this is the incoming circuit so from the definition it is very clear that the distribution board is an assembly to house the switching devices protective devices neutral conductors earth conductors and the outgoing and incoming circuits hope i'm clear mainly there are three types of distribution board the first one is main distribution board mdb the second one is sub main distribution board smdb and the third one is final distribution board that is fdb what is mdb the distribution board which accept the main incoming LB supply from the distribution company or on a transformer. What does it mean? If the distribution board accepting the power from the transformer, then that distribution board is called main distribution board. Okay. So when a distribution board taking the power or accepting the power directly from the LB side of the transformer, then that panel is called main distribution board. Now let us further move to final distribution board. Any distribution board is said to be final distribution board when it is directly fading to the final circuits like uh, sockets, like lights, okay, like any other power utility like uh, washing machine, water heater, directly to the final equipments. Then that distribution is that then that distribution board is called final distribution board. Now let us move to another type of distribution board which is sub main distribution board. Any distribution board is said to be sub main distribution board when that distribution board neither a main distribution board nor a final distribution board what does it mean this sub main distribution board should not take the power directly from the transformer and should not feed in the final circuits so this type of distribution board is called sub main distribution board here in our example you can see that there is a transformer which is directly feeding to the main distribution board as this distribution board taking directly power from the transformer so this distribution board is called LV switch gear or MDB then the outgoing of MDB feeding the sub main distribution board and the sub main distribution board is feeding the final distribution board and this final distribution board feeding the outgoing circuits which will directly supply power to the equipments and direct to the loads so this is final distribution board here you can notice that the sub main distribution board neither taking power directly from the transformer nor feeding directly to the load. Such distribution board is only the mediator between the main distribution board and the final distribution. Let us move to the clause related to distribution boards stated in ADDC regulation. So the first clause is final distribution boards including the incoming cables will normally be sized in accordance with the connected load of the circuit supplied other distribution board and the distribution circuit may be sized in accordance with the diversified load using approximate diversity factor and with allowance made for future load growth where appropriate what does this clause state it is state that if you are designing a final distribution board then the designing of the final distribution board will be based on the total connected load on the final distribution board. But when you are designing any other distribution board like SMDB and main distribution board MDB, 
then the designing will be based on the diversity fight load will not be on the total connected load this is the first clause so in short we can say that the designing of the final distribution board will be based on the total connected load on that FDB or final distribution board but when we are designing the SMDB and MDB then the designing will be based on the diversity fight load on that distribution board the next clause in ADDC regulation for the distribution board is all the final distribution board must be arranged so as to provide for at least two zone of earth leakage protection that is 100 milliampere and 30 milliampere or 30 milliampere and 30 milliampere to avoid complete disconnection of the power in the area being served in the event of earth fall what does it mean this clause says that the when we are designing a final distribution board okay then at least there will be two earth leakage protection device should be there because suppose this FDB is serving some area if there is a earth leakage protection and there is only one RCD then it will trip then the full area will not have any electricity to avoid such condition the ADDC standard says that at least we need to have two RCD or two earth leakage circuit breaker so in the event of earth fault one RCD will trip and other RCD will be active so there will be power in that area it will not be completely disconnected for the electricity so far we discussed that when we are designing any final distribution board then it should have two zone of earth leakage protection in order to avoid complete disconnection of power at the time of earth leakage fault but this can be achieved by three ways let us discuss about this three ways one way which i explained you that we if we will provide a two rcd for the two zones of one area then we can avoid the complete disconnections of power in that area the second method is to provide rcbo for each individual loads or for each individual circuit the rcbo has a property to trip when there is a short circuit when there is a overload and when there is a earth fault suppose if there is a earth fault happen at the load one then the rcbo for that load will trip and other rcbo will be running normally in that case suppose this fdb is serving this area and there is a earth fault for load one then the other loads in that area will be active and it will be operate normally and that load rcb will trip only in that case that area will not be disconnected fully due to the earth fault happening load one and the third way is that to provide two final distribution board for same area one final distribution board will serve lighting and other final distribution will serve the load connector in that area suppose there is a fault current uh, for earth fault in the power circuit then this rcd will trip but there will be a uh, electricity for the light load and suppose if there is a earth fault happened in the light circuit then the rcd for the final distribution board which is feeding the light load will trip and the load power load will be active this is a very outdated method and generally we are not practicing this method either we are using the first method or the second method to avoid complete disconnections of any area due to earth fault the next clause in the ADDC regulation says that only 12 way 12 way is allowed for the single phase DB 14 ways allowed for the three phase DB and 18 ways allowed for the final distribution board why it is so let us understand the reason behind it the reason is very simple suppose if a final distribution board is feeding a very big area okay and suppose there is a maintenance in that final distribution board then we have to shut down this final distribution board when we will shut down this final distribution board then there will be no power in the very big area in order to avoid such condition ADDC says that only 12 ways is allowed for the single phase and 14 ways that is total 42 circuits single phase circuits is allowed for the three, three phase DB and 18 ways three phase circuit is allowed for the sub main distribution board if there is a limit for the ways then it will fit only a smaller area if the area will be very big okay then the load connected in that area also will be more then the circuit feed to that load will be also more ADDC limited the number of circuits fed from single phase DB is 12. So suppose this big area required maybe 
200 number of circuit but as per adc regulation only 12 circuit can be fed from single phase db so this big area required maybe 300 to 400 circuit and the single phase can fed only 12 circuit so this single phase db can fed a very small area of this big area by limiting the number of circuit in the db adc limited the area fed by that db in same way the three phase db can fed 14 three phase circuit or 42 single phase circuit so this circuit can fed a, a one portion of this big area in that way adc limited the area fed by that three phase final distribution board why the adc limiting the area fed from one final distribution board because for the maintenance point of view if there is a outage or if there is a maintenance in one distribution board then that small area will be disconnected from the power supply and the other area will be having the power the next clause in adc regulation related to the distribution board is that the phase and neutral bus bar in all the distribution boards shall be identified by the color and the phase and neutral conductor of all the distribution boards should have the same cross section area what does it mean let us understand this one suppose this is a final distribution board okay there is a red color yellow color and blue color bus bar here the r phase is indicated by the red color code the y phase is indicated by the yellow color code and the b phase is indicated by the blue color code in the same clause it is mentioned that the cross section area of the neutral bus bar should be same as the cross section area of the phase bus bar the next clause is state that the neon indicator voltmeter ammeter must be provided for the distribution board rated above 400 ampere it means that if any distribution board it can be a final distribution board it can be a sub main distribution board or the main distribution board if the incomer rating of that distribution board is more than 400 ampere or equal to 400 ampere then that distribution board required the neon indicator for the phase availability the voltmeter the ammeter the next clause in adc regulation is state that all the outgoing circuit of the distribution board must be provided with only circuit breaker that can be mcb mccb acb rcd rcbo and shall not contain fuse of any kind except for the capacitor bank the incoming device of the db may be an isolator switch where adequate fault protection is provided by the upstream protective device what does it mean it means that any final distribution board or any distribution board should have only the circuit breaker here you can see that to provide protection against the earth fault there is a r series and in order to provide the short circuit protection and over load protection there is a mcb if the load current is high then we can choose mccb in place of mcb the clause state that the outgoing circuit should be protected by only circuit breakers not by any kind of fuse in the same clause it is also stated that the isolator can be used as a incomer for the distribution board if the upstream panel have the circuit breakers suppose this final distribution board is feeding by a smdb and the outgoing breaker of that smdb which is feeding this final distribution board is a mccb or any other type of circuit breaker then we can use incomer of that final distribution board as a isolator because there is already a protection provided for that final distribution board by its upstream panels the next clause in adc regulation related to distribution board state that the distribution board of rating 200 ampere and above shall be installed in a dedicated room distribution board of rating below 200 ampere may be installed in a cupboard or other suitable enclosure main distribution board of rating 200 ampere and above must be located in electricity intake room what does it mean suppose there is a distribution board okay it's not a main distribution board it it can be a smdb or final distribution board smdb if the rating of this distribution board is less than 200 ampere means the incomer rating of final distribution board or 
sub main distribution board is less than 200 ampere then it can be installed in a suitable place like in corridor near to the axis or inside a cupboard where there is an easy access for the maintenance of this panel but if the distribution board it can be fdb or smdb having a incomer rating greater than 200 ampere then it should be installed in a dedicated room but if the same enclosure if the same panel is mdb and having a rating greater than 200 ampere then this mdb should be located in the electrical dedicated electrical room this is the clause the next clause related to distribution board is distribution board shall not be installed in a location where the water is used like kitchen bathroom pump rooms within 2 meter of any pipe or other source of water or in difficult to access position such as a staircase distribution board and all electrical equipment installed outdoor must be corrosion resist resistant and give protection against mechanical damage and minimum ingress protection of ip55 unless otherwise specified in this regulation what does it mean the simple meaning of this clause is that the distribution board should be minimum 2 meter away from any water source and the distribution board should not be installed in any wet area like kitchen bathroom pump room etc and if it is insta installed in some place the distribution board distance from any water source to be minimum 2 meter away the second thing if the distribution board is installed in outdoor then the enclosure ip rating should be ip55 and the enclosure should be corrosion resistant type the next clause states that distribution board must be provi provided with the sufficient number of protective devices so as to enable every outgoing circuit to be connected to an individual protective device and shall include not less than 10% spare protective device or blank space the simple meaning of this clause is that the distribution board should have sufficient number of protective device for the all outgoing circuits and there will be 10% spare circuit breaker or the blank space for the future consideration the next clause is for LV switchboard or for MDB it is stated that when more than one incoming supply cable is provided at the electricity intake these must be connected to a separate switchboards or separate sections of same switchboard which is which have a facility for the interconnection through a bus bar coupler circuit breaker or switches in order to prevent the parallel operation of the incoming supply cable the bus coupler circuit breaker or switches must be interlocked to prevent the when both incoming supply cables are live what does it mean the simple meaning of this clause is if there is a two incoming okay then either we require two separate switchboards one incoming for one switchboard and other incoming for other switchboard if not this two incoming to be in the same switchboard of two section and there is a interlock between these two section of same switchboard to prevent the parallel operation okay this is the clause state the next clause is all bus bar in the switchboard must be tinned copper and rigidly rigidly supported throughout their length the neutral and earth bus bar must run throughout the length of the switchboard the neutral bus bar must be of the same cross section area as the face bus bar which i explained you earlier also that the the bus bar inside the distribution board it should be of tinned copper type okay tin copper type and the cross section area of the face bus bar and the neutral bus bar should be of same size the next clause is the main incoming circuit breaker must be clearly marked and left unlocked to allow immediate operation in an emergency it is very clear that the main incomer of the mdb should be marked clearly that it is a main circuit breaker for that building or for that premises and it should be unlocked to allow immediate operation in the emergency situation this is all about the distribution board as per addc regulation if you like my video please hit thumbs up and subscribe to my channel we will meet in any other video till then take care keep learning bye bye thank you so much